Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have a qualifying match. We've got Mansfield High School. <laughs> Taking on Lexington High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Whoa. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. Smart home technology can help prevent a little problem from becoming a big headache. You can ask an independent agent about smart home technology offers from Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by University of Massachusetts Amherst. At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, a revolutionary spirit runs through our veins. As pioneers, builders, unconventional doers, we dream bigger, reach higher, and commit ourselves to the relentless pursuit of progress. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned themselves a spot in this year's tournament. So the goal for each of the 17 teams now is to become the next High School Quiz Show champion. In today's match, we have Lexington High School taking on Mansfield High School. And on the Lexington team, we have Liana, Albert, Charles, and Arushi with alternates Faza and Derek and coaches Dan Melia and Josh Olivier Mason. <laughs> For Mansfield, we have Nick, Orion, Tika and Jacob with alternates Annie and Danielle and coach Ken Barrett. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So teams, if you're ready, good luck, and here we go. Enrique Iglesias and Penelope Cruz were both born in what capital city of Spain? Yes, Albert. Uh, Madrid. Yes, the Civil War ended with the surrender of Robert E. Lee at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9th of what year? Yes, Nick. 1865. Yes, what Scottish-American inventor of the telephone? Refused to have a phone in his study, fearing it would distract him from his work. Yes, Nick. Alexander Graham Bell. Yes. Nearly 90% of the population of Indonesia are followers of what religion? Yes, Nick. Islam. Yes. Uh, take a look at your screens. America's first political cartoon, Join or Die, symbolizes that the colonies needed to join together with Britain to defeat the French and Indians. This famous image is attributed to what founding father? Yes, Orion. Benjamin Franklin. Yes, alkali metals are very reactive metals that do not occur freely in nature. Uh, these metals have how many electrons in their outer shell when neutral? Yes, Charles. One. Yes, in 2019, who became the first openly gay black man to win an Emmy for outstanding lead actor in a drama series for his work on Pose? Yes, Rushi. Billy Porter. Yes. Tasked with bringing a level of discipline to President Trump's often chaotic administration, what retired Marine general stepped down as White House Chief of Staff in January of 2019? Yes, Nick. John Kelly. Yes, 10 years after a 1994 genocide, uh, what African nation made it a crime for citizens to identify themselves as either Hutus or Tutsis? Yes, Charles. Rwanda. Yes. Take a look at your video screens for the next question. Hi, I'm Ernie Bach Jr. and here's my question. My first car was a 1971 Volkswagen Beetle. 
The original Beetle was designed for sustained high speed on what German federal highway system that has no generalized speed limit? Yes, Charles. The Autobahn? That is correct. About 270 million years ago, the Earth did not have seven continents. Instead, it had one massive supercontinent called what? Yes, Jacob. Pangea? Yes. What best-selling memoir by Daily Show host Trevor Noah is subtitled Stories from a South African Childhood? Charles. Born a crime? Yes. What composer of the great oratorio Messiah was born in Germany but became a naturalized English citizen in 1727 by an act of parliament? Yes, Albert. Hondo. Yes, that is correct. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by which of the following? Is it A, the mantle, B, the outer core, or C, the inner core? Yes, Charles. B? B, the outer core, is correct. And a math question. The wholesale price of a necklace is $18. What is the retail price if the markup is 70%? Time's up. $30.60 is the answer. Set in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, what famous 1943 novel by Betty Smith uses the tree of heaven, a tree that grows out of cement as a symbol of hope amidst hardship? A tree grows in Brooklyn. What American Idol finalist who won an Oscar for Dreamgirls was handpicked? by Aretha Franklin to play the Queen of Soul in an upcoming uh, biopic called Respect. Yes, Jacob. Jennifer Hudson. That is correct. Few families in uh, colonial America could afford beeswax candles. Most used what type of candles made from animal fat? <laughs> Tallow is the answer. Literally meaning head, foot in Greek, what class of marine mollusks have limbs attached to their head, for example, squid and octopus? Yes, Tika. Cephalopod. Yes, the undersea tunnel known as the Channel connects England to what country? Yes, Nick. France. Yes. Which of the following novels was not written in the 19th century? Is it A, Robinson Crusoe, B, Moby Dick, or C, Little Women? A. Yes, Charles. A. A. Robinson Crusoe is correct. In 2019, who won the French Open, extending his record at Roland Garros to 12 titles? Albert. Nadal. Yes. If you feel a pain in your leg, it's likely a cramp or a pulled muscle, or it could be something more serious, a blood clot known as DVT, which stands for what? Orion. Deep vein thrombosis. Yes. In 1526, a leader called Barber the Tiger founded the Mughal dynasty in what country? Nick. India. Yes. Math question here. For a given angle in a right triangle, what trigonometric function equals cosine over sine or adjacent side over opposite side? Yes, Tika. Cotangent. That's correct. A story of only 338 words. What Maurice Sendak picture book about a boy named Max initially received negative reviews and was banned by certain libraries. Yes, Jacob. Where the wild things are? Yes. Ancient Romans built what massive bridge-like structures that carried water from distant sources into cities and towns? Yes, Charles. Aqueducts? Yes. Winner of the 2017 Man Booker Prize, what novel by George Saunders shows President Abraham Lincoln haunted by the death of his young son, Willie? Lincoln in the Bardo is the answer. In March 2019, after winning three Super Bowl rings in five years, what Patriots tight end announced his retirement? Yes, Orion. Rob Gronkowski. Correct. Best known for playing Miranda on Sex and the City, one actress lost a primary challenge to New York Governor Andrew Cuomo in 2018. <laughs> Cynthia Nixon, uh, the answer there. What was the name of Ernest Shackleton's ship that became trapped in sea ice in the Weddell Sea off the coast of Antarctica in 1915? Yes, Charles. Is this Endeavor? No. You want to try it, Mansfield? Yes, Nick. The Beagle? No. Endurance is the answer. 
Uh, the earliest hand axes, the first to innovation in stone tool technology, are associated with what early human species that means upright man in Latin? Yes, Orion. Homo erectus. That is correct. In 18... Oh, that is the end of the toss-up round. The score right now, Lexington High School, 110 points. Mansfield High, 150 points. We've got ourselves around here. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is uh, next, but first we're going to take a little break and get to know the contestants. I have a question. Each of you will have a chance to answer. We're going to start with Lexington and you, Liana, and here comes the question. What one invention would you uninvent if you could? Um, it's called avocado on a stick, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mashed avocado, but you dispense it in what looks like a deodorant dispenser, mm. and then you put it on toast. I just think it's so cursed, so, yeah. I, I really kind of think I agree with you. It's got to go. Uh, Albert, how about you? Uh, vacuums, because they suck. <laughs> Charles, how about you? Um, I would uninvent the slap chop, because I think it's an abomination that does not belong in America's kitchens. You know what's strange? I own one. <laughs> no, really. Uh, Arushi, how about you? I would uninvent those long door handles that always get stuck on your belt loops, because they're so annoying. Yes! Uh, over to Mansfield. Nick, what do you think? I guess I have to say my alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> and Orion. The selfie stick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. people take these pictures next to cliffs and they fall. They fall off the cliff. <laughs> you see it on the news all the time. Yeah, and there goes the selfie stick, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd have to say plastic bags to save the turtles. There you go. Jacob. Uh, TV cameras, because they're pretty intimidating. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Well, we kind of wouldn't have high school quiz show without them, Jacob, you know? I apologize in advance. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to get back to the show next up is the head-to-head -head round. And the way that works is all of you are going to come on down, and we're going head-to-head. -head. Let's do it now. Okay, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I have Mansfield to my left, Lexington to my right. Why don't we shake hands, and we'll start that way, and we'll get started. And... As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. What is the largest city in Australia by population? Yes. Sydney. Yes. What thin, solid, outermost layer of the Earth lies directly above? Yes. Crust. Yes. What Greek poet is the author of the Iliad and the... Uh, yes. Homer. Yes, the Iberian Peninsula is part of what continent? Yes. Europe. Yes. Uh, Castor and Pollux are the brightest stars in what constellation known as the Twins? Yes. Gemini. Yes. What Belgian city is the international center of the diamond industry? Antwerp. Uh, most new blood cells are produced in what soft, spongy tissue in the center of bones? Yes. Like marrow? Yes. In 1348, uh, the Black Death spread to Europe from what continent? Yes. Asia. Yes. Uh, in the Hunger Games, Katniss forms an alliance with what female tribute from... Rue. Yes. Uh, how many years in a tercentennial? Yes. 300. Yes. Uh, also known as the North Star, what bright star? Polaris. Yes. yes. In 1991, who became the first democratically elected president of Russia? Yes. Boris Elson. Yes. What young French peasant launched an attack? Joan yes. of Arc. Uh, yes. Uh, what city is the setting for Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Verona. Yes. Love Never Dies is the sequel to what Andrew Lloyd Webber musical about a beautiful soprano named Christine. Phantom yes. of the Opera. Yes. Uh, the Matterhorn straddles the border between Switzerland and what country to the south? Yes. Italy. Italy is correct. Uh, any fool can make a rule, and every fool will mind it. Who wrote this in his essay? Oh, really wanted to get that one in. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round, round two. Let's take a look at the scores right now. Lexington High School, 200 points. Mansfield High School, 210 points. How about it? This is a tight <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Read the label, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, Muckrakers, Color Swatch, Building Big, and Add It Up. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. And uh, players, you can confer with your teammates, but 
Uh, once you buzz in, you are no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Uh, Lexington, you have uh, little ground to make up, but you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll take muckrakers, please. Okay. These will be questions about investigative journalism. And for 10 points, the term muckraker, meaning someone who seeks to expose corruption in business or government, was coined by what U.S. president in 1906? Yes, Charles. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt is correct. And uh, you have the board Lexington category. Let's stick with muckrakers. Uh, for 15 points in 1972, what two reporters at the Washington Post teamed up to write a series of articles about the Watergate scandal that led to the resignation of President Nixon? Yes, Charles. Woodward and Bernstein. Correct. And you've still got the board Lexington category. Let's stick with muckrakers. Muckrakers for 20 points. What American journalist is best known for her pioneering investigative reporting that led to the breakup of Standard Oil's monopoly? Yes, Tika. Ida B. Wells. No, you want to try it, Lexington? Yes, Tarbell. Charles. Tarbell. Ida Tarbell is right. You still have the board Lexington category. Let's stick with muckrakers. Muckrakers for 25 points. What Upton Sinclair novel exposed uh, the appalling working conditions and wage theft of immigrant workers in the meatpacking industry? Yes, Charles. The jungle. The jungle is correct. You still have the board Lexington category. Let's finish muckrakers. Muckrakers this time for 30 points. In his new book, Catch and Kill, what Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter reveals how powerful media figures tried to cover up his investigation of Harvey Weinstein's alleged abuse of women? Ronan Farrow is the answer there. Uh, Lexington, you still have the board. You'll need a new category. Uh, we'll take color swatch for 10, please. Color swatch. All answers here include a color. For 10 points, sponsored by Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Ed Markey, what proposed economic stimulus package is a bold plan for tackling climate change? Yes, Liana. Green New Deal. The Green New Deal is correct. You still have the board Lexington category. We'll stick with Color Swatch. Color Swatch this time for 15 points. Known for hits like Kill This Love, what is the highest charting female K-pop act on the Billboard Hot 100? Yes, Tika. Blackpink. Blackpink is correct. Mansfield, you get the board category. Color swatch for 20. Okay, color swatch. This time for 20 points. Serious health issues such as cancer and birth defects have been linked to what defoliant used by the U.S. military during the Vietnam War? Yes, Tika. Agent Orange. That is correct. And Mansfield, you still have the board category. We'll stick with color swatch. Okay, color swatch for 25 points. In 2019, dozens of wealthy parents, including actresses uh, Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman, were charged in a college admissions bribery scam known as Operation What? Yes, Nick. Varsity Blue. That is correct. And Mansfield, you still have the board category. Let's stick with it. Color swatch for 30 points. A companion piece to The Call of the Wild, what Jack London novel is the story of a wolf dog who's rescued from his brutal owner and gradually becomes domesticated? Yes, Tika. White Fang. White Fang is correct. Mansfield, you have the board. You'll need a new category here. Building big for 10, please. Okay, building big questions about America's infrastructure. For 10 points, international orange is the official color of what iconic bridge that was the tallest and longest suspension bridge in the world when it opened in 1937? Yes, Nick. The Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate is correct, and you still have the board, Mansfield. Uh, building big. Building big for 15 points. According to the Department of Energy, which of the following is the leading cause of power outages in the U.S. Is it A, severe weather, B, human error, or C, squirrels and birds chewing on wires? That would be A, severe weather. But you still have the board Mansfield category. Building big. Building big for 20 points. One of America's busiest highways, what road extending from Florida to Maine passes through more states than any other interstate highway? Yes, Leanna. I-95. I-95 is correct. Lexington, you get the board back category? We'll stay with building big. Building big for 25 points. In the late 1960s, what U.S. Federal Department created the ARPANET, a network that became the basis for the modern Internet? 
Yes, Orion. The Department of Defense. Correct. And you get the board Mansfield category. Building big. Building big for 30 points. The largest reservoir in the United States. What man-made lake formed by the Hoover Dam supplies water to Arizona, California, and Nevada? Yes, Tika. Lake Mead. Lake Mead is correct. Mansfield, you've got the board. You'll need a category. Add it up. Okay, add it up. Questions about math. And for 10 points, how was the year 2020 expressed in Roman numerals? Orion. MMXX. That is correct. You keep the board, Mansfield. Category? Uh, let's do read the label for 10. Okay, read the label. Questions about nutrition. And for 10 points, carrots and pumpkins get their bright orange color from a pigment uh, called beta carotene, which is converted by the liver into what vitamin essential for good vision? Yes, Charles. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is correct. Now you've got the board Lexington category. Let's stick with read the label. Read the label for 15 points, which of the following is always 100% unprocessed whole grain. Is it A, popcorn, B, multigrain bread, or C, couscous? Yes, Orion. Couscous. No. You want to try it, Lexington? Yes, Liana. B. No, it's A, popcorn. Yeah. How about that? Uh, Lexington, you've still got the board. Category? Stick with read the label. You're going to stay with read the label, this time for 20 points. Uh, during the age of exploration, Captain James Cook insisted his crew eat onions and pickled cabbage every day to help prevent what disease caused by a lack of vitamin C? Yes, Charles. Scurvy. Scurvy is correct. You've still got the board. Lexington. Category? Stick with it. 425 points. Read the label. Four kinds of fish, tilefish, shark, swordfish, and king mackerel uh, should be eaten only occasionally because they contain high amounts of what toxic metal? Yes, Tika. Mercury. Mercury is right. And you have the board, Mansfield. Category? We'll stick with read the label. Read the label for 30 points. Uh, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires that all enriched grain products be fortified with what acid that helps prevent certain birth defects, especially... Neural tube defects. Yes, Charles. Folic acid. Folic acid is correct. And now, Lexington, you've got the board. You do need a new category. We'll take no sleep till Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. Questions about Brooklyn. For 10 points, in 1947, what Brooklyn baseball team signed Jackie Robinson as the first black player in the modern major leagues? Nick. The Brooklyn Dodgers. Brooklyn Dodgers is right. You get the board, Mansfield. However... That's the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, Lexington High School, 345 points. Mansfield High, 375 points. Whoa, is this a good match. Okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. And teams, you get 20 points for each correct answer, but incorrect answers in this round will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. And uh, here we go. The Suez Canal is located in what country? Uh, Arushi. Egypt. Yes. What was launched in 1973 as the first? Yes, Jacob. The Soyuz space capsule. Skylab is the answer. Uh, name the only country that borders both the Caspian Sea and Persian Gulf. Albert. Uh, Iran. Yes. A quatrain is a stanza or poem of how many? Yes, Arushi. Four. Yes. What U.S. state located directly north of Iowa is nicknamed the North? Yes, Albert. Uh, Minnesota. Yes. Uh, the first White House website was developed in 1994 during what president? Bill yes, Clinton. Charles. Bill Clinton. Yes. Uh, what author from Dorset, England wrote the tragic novel, Test of the Durbervilles? Yes, Arushi. Hardy. Yes, Thomas Hardy. Uh, with an average surface temperature of over 800 degrees, what is the hottest planet? Yes, Charles. Venus. Venus, yes. Uh, who wrote the poem Defense of Fort McHenry, which became the... Yes, Nick. Francis Scott Key. Yes, in 1967, revolutionary leader Che Guevara was executed in what South American country? Yes, Albert. Bolivia. Yes, what is the most densely populated U.S. state? Yes, New Jersey. Albert. Yes, in 2015, the EPA found dangerous levels of lead in the waters of Flint, Michigan. Yes. Uh, name the fifth president of the United States. Yes, Arushi. Monroe. Yes. Uh, the Tiger is one of the best known works of what English? Blake. Yes, Charles. Blake. Yes, William Blake. Uh, which layer of the atmosphere lies between the troposphere and the yes, stratosphere? Charles. Yes. Uh, what Alfred Hitchcock film includes the line, a boy's best friend is his... Oh, what is that one? 
That's the bell that ends the game. The winning team this week is Lexington with a score of 605 points. Mansfield High School finishes with 375 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great round. So Lexington High School now will move on in advance to the next round where they'll play against Boston Latin School. Join us next week for the match between Brookline and Waltham. That's next week right here on High School Quiz Show. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by Museum of Science. You can experience the world the way a dog sees it at the Museum of Science. Get to know your furry friend in a whole new way and discover the science behind our enduring bond. Dogs, a science tale. Now open at the Museum of Science. Production of WGBH.